Hey, this is Matthew with Source Slinger Custom Holsters, and I'm taking a look here at a UV 5G Pro. Uh, this was sent to me from Radiodity. It's a Baofeng. And they sent it to me uh, free charge and asked me to do a review on it. So this is a uh, review, and there's a uh, link in the description below if you're interested in ordering one. There's a affiliate link there that you can check it out. Uh, they sent this to me. It is built on the body of a, a UV5R, so it's basically exactly the same on the uh, the body of it. And really the function is very similar too, except it is a GMRS radio that has a wider scanning uh, frequencies. You can listen to more than just the GMR frequencies and even like the 2 meter and the 70 centimeter frequencies. And uh, it has a lot of the same menu options as your UV5R. We'll go through them here. You got your uh, high power there, your Vox, wider narrow band, the ABR function, the TDR function, beep off. I always turn the beep off. That's very annoying. I do not like the beep or the or the voice. The TOT. The RDCS for putting in um, the codes for like repeaters and things like that. The CTCS, the DCS, the CTCS for talking, and the voice. I always want to turn that off. Uh, don't want to leave. If anyone knows that, that is a uh, error. Two, 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 one. So we only. I don't want Chinese either. Let's see. Take it off. Okay. And then there's the antenna ID, the S code, the PTT ID, the PTT LT, and there's the name to if you want to name the uh, the channel. Now you got to do that through Chirp, the Chirp app. And I did not program this through Chirp yet. Um, I'm going to actually do some range test on it. And you can also change the colors here on which one you want. Um, let's see here. Band U, uh, UHF or VHF. The Roger Beat. Let's see here. How many does it have here? Eh, it's got two here. Let's, let's check this one out. No, well, it's not going to do it on this end here. But you have two Roger beeps there. I didn't realize that before. Keep that off. And then reset. We're back to the beginning. So there you go. Um, so uh, it's basically built on the UV5R. It's a GMRS. Now, one feature that it has that is a little bit unique to this is if you look in your manual on page... 24, it gives you the scanning frequency. So we have uh, your FM radio, 65 uh, to 108 megahertz. You have AM, 100 and let's see if I can focus that a little better here. AM, 108 to 136 megahertz. That is airband. So you can listen to airband on here. And then you have your, your two meter, that's 136, well, you actually, well, you have 136 to 70, uh, 174 megahertz. And then 220 to 260 megahertz. And then the 350 to 390 megahertz. And then 400 to 520 megahertz. Now, if you notice here, this is just for listening here. Uh, this radio is locked for GMRS, so you can listen to all these. You can program them and put them on a scan, but you cannot transmit on here. And as far as I know, this radio does not have an ability to unlock it, to transmit on those. If I find out it does, I'll put a video up showing that, but it is not. It's just uh, listening for those, just receiving and scanning. Which, for the money, I mean, hey, you can do a lot more. You can listen to a lot more with this one um, than your your average uh, 
UV 5G, I think is the one, which is just the GMRS version of the UV 5R. And you can only listen to 2 meter and 70 centimeter on that one. This one you have air band and all these other frequencies as well. So uh, for the money, if you want just a GMRS radio, you can listen to a lot more with this radio. And it functions the same way as a UV 5R. And uh, that, that's, pretty, that's pretty significant. So I haven't done a range test, like I said, on this one yet. I'm going to. I'm going to put probably, I'll do the stock antenna, and then I'll probably do a uh, test with the Brie AR771, the GMRS antenna. And uh, I have a few spots here locally that I've gotten three, four, five, six mile range on GMRS, but uh, I need to uh, set up my base station in order to do that. And it's been, there's so much storms and lightning here lately, I haven't had the opportunity to do that. So we will set that up and we will do a range test. I'll do a range test video on this. But as for the, the, the things that come with the radio, it's pretty much your basic UV5R package. You got your little headset here, which really isn't the best. It's not much uh, here, but for the money, you can't really complain. And then you got your, of course, your belt clip and your stock antenna. So that that's pretty much it. I mean, it is pretty much a UV5R shell with the lock for GMRS with all these added frequencies, which is just a real huge bonus if you're wanting just a GMRS radio. So it's much better value than your UV5G. So this is the UV5G Pro. And it's because of all those added frequencies. So anyway, thanks for watching. Um, I appreciate all the people that uh, like these radio videos. If you do like me doing these reviews, please uh, like and subscribe and share the video because I have had quite a few people send me radios in order to do reviews. And that uh, allows me to get the radio and play with it, see if it's any good, and give you an honest review on it. And uh, I mean, I'm not making any money off of this. I'm just getting a few, few free radios radios out of it so I really don't uh, care um, whether I'm not going to say whether they're good and when they're bad or vice versa so um, it is what it is it's a UV5R shell with a few added functions uh, on the GMRS model so check out the description below and uh, order you one if you're interested and thanks for watching this has been Matthew with Swordslinger Custom Holsters